Paris has 16 metro lines connecting 308 stations and today we will explore the most fascinating of them all. Mirabeau metro station is part of line 10 and is located in western Paris in the 16th arrondissement right here. Looking at this freeze frame, you can already see all the reasons that make Mirabeau unique. But without context, it is impossible to connect the dots just yet. So let's go on location and dive into some rapid fire Mirabeau facts. This is the most beautiful of the three entrances to the station. The design is so iconic that it has its own name. Guimard entrances are named after its legendary Art Nouveau creator Hector Guimard. 88 of these entrances still exist to this day. 87 in Paris and a single one in Montreal, Canada. Mirabeau opened in 1913 as part of Line 8's Western Return Loop. Today it is part of Line 10, which underwent the most route changes of all the lines in Paris metro history. Line 10 also has the least traffic of all of the 14 Parisian main lines. Mirabeau itself ranks 284th out of 308 stations when it comes to passenger numbers. A little more than 1 million people used the station in 2021. Finally, Mirabeau station is named after the street above, which in turn is named after the Count of Mirabeau. He was the president of the French National Assembly when France adopted its first constitution. Entering the platform, I will shut up for a second and let you witness the magic of Mirabeau for yourself. As you can see, two things make Mirabeau unique. Its single side platform only serves one track for trains heading eastbound to Gare d'Austerlitz. Secondly, you can watch the westbound train to Boulogne go by on a steep ramp. Both factors turn the station into somewhat of a viewing gallery for the passing MF67 series metro vehicles. This setup is unique in Paris, but what caused the station to look like this? Let's go back to the freeze frame from the first few seconds of the video and first figure out why Mirabeau only serves eastbound trains. Being part of the return loop of line 8, Mirabeau really only needed one single-sided platform. Its twin station, Église d'Auteuil, is only a two-minute walk away and serves all westbound trains. Église d'Auteuil therefore also only has one single-side platform. Being so close to the terminus in Boulogne and only serving westbound trains makes Église d'Auteuil the least used out of all of the 308 metro stations in Paris. It would have been possible to serve both directions at Église d'Auteuil were it not for the centuries-old foundation of the nearby church that vastly limited construction plans. Église, by the way, is the French word for church. You can see today's church, which was finished in 1892 and built upon the foundation of an older church right here. Now, let me show you the actual map of the current metro line 10. It shows the twin stations Église d'Auteuil serving westbound trains and Mirabeau serving eastbound trains. Crucially, this map is technically not correct. To avoid confusing passengers, the map does not show the actual routing of the tracks. The real layout of the tracks looks like this, with trains headed to Église d'Auteuil passing through Mirabeau station. All trains you see go by stop just a few seconds later at Mirabeau's twin station Église d'Auteuil. Time to answer the final question. Why is there a ramp? Back to the freeze frame, we can see that Mirabeau is very close to the river Seine. Trains arrive from the east through a tunnel under the Seine, which necessitates Mirabeau to be a lot deeper in the ground than most stations in Paris. The Paris metro is not very deep. Some stations are just 6 meters or 20 feet underground. Being deep underground is also why building a two-sided platform at Mirabeau would not have been a cost-effective choice. Compared to Mirabeau, the Église d'Auteuil station is rather shallow, which is why the trains passing through Mirabeau have to keep climbing upwards via the rather steep 4% incline ramp. I hope you enjoyed this little deep dive and explanation of what I think is indeed the most fascinating metro station in all of Paris. And after filming about 10 trains go by, it was finally time for me to say au revoir to Mirabeau. <laughs> Sorry if that was a bit too cliche. Thank you for watching until the very end. And please subscribe for more videos just like this and help me hit 700 subscribers.